Hey, yo, Caesar don't know the episode. He's not even going to get within the five of it. 299. Oh, okay, you're a four. <laughs> it's 295. It's not 299. Don't sleep. Are we really going to hit 300 episodes? We got to get Holly back before then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Holly's still in Ukraine. Obviously, you know what I mean. The war's still going on, dog. It's not still, over. She's out there in uh Bucha or something, Bakhmut or some Bucha. I forgot. Um, she out there in the east, you know what I mean, doing her thing, helping out the world. You know what I mean? Uh Caesar got baby Yoda in the back, some boxing gloves trying to look like he's gangster out here, you know what I mean? Then you air it out. You got the Burberry uh jacket on right now, you know what I mean? You dig. But you them. So what? What do you got on? Don't even. You don't even want me to. You don't even want me to pull this shirt up. What are you doc? Like, what are you carrying? Really, it's really high high fashion out here. Is that weed? I can't tell. <laughs> um, let me pull out a whole bag right here. Uh, episode two ninety five. We're in the building. You know, look, let's just get right into it. Let me just go through the other Champions League stuff, though, so we can just talk shit about PSG. Benfica beat the dog shit out of Club Bruges. They don't, they're, Benfica's not playing around. They saw this Belgian team. The first match was uh, 2 0. The second match, they put 5 1 on them. They're not playing around at all. Chelsea went back home to London. And like I thought, you know, since I never get predictions right, I got to say when I get, get them, get them right. You ne- like, you literally never get them right. I never get them right. So when I do get them right, I got to celebrate. Chelsea did turn it around. Um, they beat BVB 2-0 at home and one on, ag- one on aggregate 2-1. First time scoring two goals in the game in like months, apparently. Um, did, Enzo Fern- did Enzo Fernandez do anything? He did not. No. Um, Caesar's favorite Italian team currently, AC Milan, did go to London and pulled out a 0-0 draw to make them win on aggregate and Make Tottenham have another trophyless season. They just can't win nothing. Cannot do it. Harry Kane is cursed. Um, Milan goes through 1 0 on aggregate. But the big match, the match that everybody cared about, the match that, you know, we were thinking, people were thinking, like, hey, you know, Neymar's not there. Maybe this will be a benefit for PSG. They kind of play better without him. PSG travels to Munich, they're out there in München. You know, you got Mbappe, you got Messi, you got Hakimi, who's on, who's being, who who got charged with R word, who got a whole charge on him right now. He started. He real felon. <laughs> He's not felon. He didn't get convicted, but he got a whole charge on him. Shorty did go to the police like the next day, though. Good. Yeah, Good for he, her. He, she wasn't playing around. Oh. We'll we, we'll see what happens though. Mason Greenwood didn't have no problems, but um. You know, you had Marquinho starting, Sergio Ramos, Nuno Mendes, Bettina, Verratti, Mbappe, Messi. Um, I'm probably forgetting somebody. Oh, oh, uh, Fabian restarted. Mm. And you P- had the whole you had the whole unit. Yeah, and PSG didn't score one goal. They lost two zero. 3-0 on aggregate. It could have been way worse, too. It was a couple at the end that was, like, real close. Mm-hmm. Caesar, what's the deal? What's, what's up with PSG, doggy? I mean, I already said it that their one time to shine was on an asterisk season in Champions League. Still that, was, that was their chance, dog. There was an asterisk. It was single limb Russian roulette. Yeah. On a day like that, PSG is the most deadly team in the world. But I remember a quote from what player was it? I think it was a player recently was quoted saying, Oh, B- Thomas Mueller. He said, mm. Against Messi, it's like we, we know what to expect. We know the game plan. The real big anomaly and, and unstoppable force was playing against Ronaldo. So it, 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 it's, it's, and he's, he has no like bias here. He doesn't care. Um, yeah. And I think that with PSG, they 
buy a they play it like it's FIFA career mode where they're just like signing players with like a steam, but they don't really buy it. They don't invest in a real system. They don't have a culture of devised around their strategy of how they play their games. Like Real Madrid has had a lot of coaches, but they've had the same type of like culture in midfield. So they're able to keep like rotating players in. PSG has a hard time doing that. They have massive roster changes, signing random players. They don't have any leadership, no veterans. You're giving Mbappe a captain's band. That's cute as hell, dog. He, I didn't like captain? that. Not my captain. Who captain that? That's uh, not my when, captain. When Mar- I'm the captain of the ship. When, when Marquinhos left, I was like, give the give it to Verratti, dude. Verratti been there forever, dude. Like Verratti been there since like the, the, the um, they had only one stripe on the front. It was Verratti been there for since the uh, Zlatan days. Yeah, I'm like give it to. Pope him. never played with Zlatan in his life. Like dog, I, I I was really tripping. Like, are you for real? Like, Verratti. It was like the corny sh- shit Brazil was doing. Like, Even oh, Neymar. Neymar's our captain. I'm like, I why? you know, because I honestly a player. I, I was gonna forget about that, but. I mean, that doesn't have anything to do with the game, but, like, mm-hmm. it does have something to do with the culture because I'm like, that's, like, Verratti's, Verratti's a really good midfielder and, like, has been, like, one of the top midfielders. And Barcelona wanted him. Every team in the world would have got Verratti. I'm sure Pep Guardiola was like, please, Verratti, come to City, like, yeah. so many seasons. And Man, what would you do? What would you do if you were a veteran CDM for PSG. You've been there eight plus years, right? Something and you've like been through the trenches, dog. You've on multiple leg guns, like you've been there. What would you feel like if all of a sudden the 22 year old superstar on your team that's been there three years, four years, is now the captain of the team that you've been there? That, that like, I'm sorry, the game builds from the back. The game. Like, like- you, yeah. you you need great you need leadership. You need your captain to make big plays to transition offensively. The, Mar- Mar- the, the, Mar- the striker, Marquinhos, the captain's band is corny. Marquinhos cannot come off and give the captain's arm man to Mbappe. I was like, really, dude? That's like, really stop messed up. It. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, it, it's. I think PSG has a has a has a poor locker room, like poor locker room leadership. And, and you know, you know what made it worse? You know what made it worse? Messi. Yeah, for sure. I think I think I think PSG should have really focused on building intricate pieces around Neymar and Mbappe. And, and 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 that's why I look back at I think things were great when they had the run and they had a young player like Keane stepping up. You had guys that could fill in roles and do really well and young talent to develop around stars. But bringing another mega star and then another star and that's not how it's done. Let's what? keep it real. The the big criticism of Real Madrid in the past was building galactical teams. You know what I'm saying like they would do like PSG would do, right? Like they would bet these mega players. You don't always win just getting mega players. You need to you, like actually do prospects and develop talent. No black ass always kind of bring a Real Madrid. <laughs> I giggle every time because you all really, really. <laughs> first of all, Caesar, first of all, you look at real white these days. Are you bleaching? Yes. Okay. Clever. Oh, I winter ever. I can't even get sun time anymore. Um, okay, like I want to say this. Here I look super white. Hold on. <laughs> I want to say this before, like we talked about it from jump. Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe can't play together. No. It looks better when it's Messi and Mbappe. It looks better because Okay, I'll say this. It looks better, but Messi, once again, is a midfielder. It gets so clogged. And the thing that's really unfortunate, what I'm going to definitely name this episode is PSG just has no tactics, is because you saw from the beginning, all they're trying to do, which is, and, and actually somebody from ESPNFC talked about it too. I can't remember who it was. All they're trying to do is just launch the ball up there and just get Mbappe on the end of it. Like that's your tactic from like minute two. That's embarrassing. Yeah, it's literally embarrassing, dude. Like that's like how a high school team plays. Like, oh, Caesar's really good and he's he's fast and he's he's good. Just look if you get the ball, just like long ball, united it to Caesar. You know, like 
the fact that that's what they were doing from jump is just like no tactics. Does it, will it work against like Nantes and like some other teams in Liga? Sure. You're going to get some chances. Mbappe, Mbappe is a phenomenal talent, but you have Messi clogging up the midfield. You got Messi, Vitinha, Fabian Uriz, and Verratti sitting in the midfield. And then like the dudes behind them. And it's just, it's just not going to work, dude. It's not going to work against a good team who's like dedicated. They had the one, Byron had one mistake by Will Summer. Who like fortunately delict who is trash bailed them out. When Verratti had that mistake, nobody bailed out PSG. Like nobody bailed it out. And it, it, it it's just like, dude, like you're not gonna win by having a baby. You're not gonna win by having your your tactic, quote unquote, be kick the ball up to him. Jesus. Uh, kick the ball up to Mbappe. Just put it outside. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it's just, it's just no tactics. But what yeah. are you? But what are you gonna do? What can you do when you have the other player that's supposed to be a forward dropping all the way back? Verratti can't play. Vitinha can't play. Vitinha's a really good midfielder. Hmm. They can't play because Messi's there. You can't do it. That's why I was mad. We're not those Sanchez coming there. It's like you can't play. You cannot express yourself as a midfielder when you have either Neymar or Mb- or Messi in all in your shit. I agree. I think that they are just a clout team. I think that they're about marketing and not success. And sure. I think that the problem with that is that. You also do make a lot of money being successful in Champions League. You make a lot of money, and and and, and also you make a lot of money because the fans get behind you too, and you know they get invested. And I think it's being handled really okay. poorly. Let me let me ask you this though. I mean, and, and you know what? I, I'm sure we talked about this in the past. You're gonna do you think you make more money for Messi being on your team or going to the final Champions League? Not if he's taken. Not if he. Not if he's extremely expensive as he was before. I don't think you make more money. I, no, I think you make. I think you do make a lot of money with Messi. To be honest, you're making hella money. With he, he he's a merchandise king. Yes, um, that's tickets, all the everything. He yeah he he's a global superstar. But I think you yeah. you make more money if he's on your team and your team's successful. Well, yeah, for sure. But what is he? Messi hasn't done good in Champions League in years. It's been since 2015. Caesar Obama was in office. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yes. It was 2015-16. Or was it 14-15? It might have been 14-15, actually. I honestly don't remember. You know what, Caesar? I'm I'm pretty sure that was a 14-15 season because I started watching 2014. Mm. I think that was the year they won the treble. And the next year, it was three years of Real Madrid after that. So, Caesar, this fool was, you know... He ain't been successful in Champions League in a long time. I want to read you what uh, Patrice Ever said um, just the other day. Mm. You know, Patrice Ever, you know, he, he made claims about Sir, uh, Luis Suarez that I don't believe, but he also, uh, <laughs> but he also did kick a fan in the face, which I somewhat respect. Um, yeah, he he's French. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying he's from France. He'll throw down. I guess they were talking about like um, the Messi Ronaldo debate, which obviously you know. He said, "I want to explain why I say Ronaldo every time. It's not because he, I'm sorry. He was on Rio Ferdinand's YouTube channel called Five. Um, he said, "I want to explain why I say Ronaldo every time. It's not because he's our brother. It's because I'm in love with with work ethic. I feel like Messi. God just gave him a talent, and Cristiano had to work for it. He had the talent, but he had to work for it." If Messi had the same ethic as Ronaldo, he would probably have 15 Ballon d'Ors a day. Absolutely. I'm I'm just in love with people working hard, so that's why I pick Ronaldo over Messi. And I think that we've seen over the past, you know, and and I, and I hate to talk about Messi like this because I think he's a phenomenal player, but it's like I got to be honest, we've seen over the past. I don't even want to count how many years that is. That mm. shit is damn near 10 years. 
it's like eight, nine years. Messi, like, I think his lack of leadership, like, you can tell he doesn't have that work ethic because he's not a leader, dude. If Messi can't take this team with all this talent and rally around them and say, look, dude, like, we got to do this. This Bayern team is literally starting Chupo Motang and Thomas Muller. Like, we got to be able to do this. Messi didn't even show up in this match, dude. He was absent. And and to be fair, Mbappe was absent a lot too. But Mbappe was just asked to sit up there and just wait for the ball. But Messi was absent. No, for sure. And I, I think that Messi is kind of getting a pass because they won his – Argentina won a World Cup. But it's two complete different teams. Um, I, I, I think that I don't think defensively I hate like PSG that way. I think Ramos and Marquinhos, like I like those guys back there. That's fine. But PSG, even from the beginning of the season and even last year had a very weird buildup when they get the ball, their buildup is so weird. Terrible. And it, it, it's lack of tactics because all those players are in different places at any given time. Like, you know, and the only time they seem to get tactics is when Messi's out and then it's just Neymar Mbappe because they had like three, two years of doing that, that it's like, okay, here, they figure out finally. Remember the experimenting on where to play, who to play? They finally figured that, that Neymar's better sitting behind Mbappe or sitting more centrally to distribute the ball who's in the middle on the left side or wherever Mbappe is. Like, it's better to have Neymar behind Mbappe so Mbappe can make the runs and they can distribute. And that all got taken away when you had Messi because he commands the ball. It's too many hands getting the ball. We say this over and over, and you're not going to be successful in Champions League. Like, not in a two-game series, not when I have tape. It's not going to work at all. It's a good team. Not against a good team. No, not against the good teams at all. <laughs> Especially Bayern, who just has no problem playing anybody. Like, there's no team I think Bayern plays that goes, they get afraid of. I think they think no. they have a chance of beating every team, and they've shown it over the years. They beat everybody that's really good. Bayern has a great mentality. They have, like, a mm-hmm. winning spirit about them. Mm-hmm. If they're doing it with Chupo Monte, what do you He's a great player. These are, this fool has 17 goals this season already. Yeah, and PSG think, said we don't want him. I think he has more than Mbappe. Yeah, they said we don't want him. <laughs> um, he, he, he just works hard. He hustles. Doesn't lose the ball a ton, has a good foot, moves well, good movement. He, he doesn't need to be a, a mega super speed demon or a dribbling savant. Just good game sense, know where you are, be physical, and attack the ball. Push the line like Julius Peppers. He, oh, he, that one goal, he was just sitting right there. We're in the middle waiting and jumped an opportunity to snatch up on the center on variety. And boom, goal. You're a center forward. Gretz good to him, yeah. Yeah, push, push the line. Get in space, make, make like make the line have to push back. Let your skill players do what they do. I be really like for- his spacing. He he be- gives the other person opportunity to break someone off, and at the same time, the defender has to make a decision on how to hedge. And these guys don't know how to hedge properly, and- so he's just making space, getting open shots. Mbappe is a center forward. Obviously, we've been saying for years he's not a center forward because he he's not going to be waiting there for a header. Once once the players bring the ball down. And Mbappe is like, okay, let me go over there and get the ball, you know? So, like, it leaves – like, there was times – I I literally watching that match, there's times it's like Vitinha and Fabian Uriz in the box. <laughs> like, and it's just like, dude, stop it. And, and it's been like that with Mbappe and Neymar playing together when they didn't have a center forward or when they weren't playing a center forward. But for sure with, with Messi, it's just – he's clogging the midfield. There's no tactics. You you have a team that's like solid front to back. I mean, you would think that in, uh, PSG could take advantage of uh, Bayern's back line. You know, they have some dude starting at right back. Like I never heard of him before. You have Delict, who's like slow as hell. Some other dude at at uh, at Upamecano, I think, started at center back, or maybe who was at left back? Upamecano was there. Was was he at left back? No, who was at left back? Oh no, Davies. Davies is left back. Sorry. Yeah. Um. They had Ubumacano, uh, Delict, some other dude at right back. I forgot his name. And then they brought in Cancel later in the game. Yeah, l- l- late. But when you're just saying like 
we're just going to long ball it to Mbappe and because he's fast, he can figure it out. And then like every time they're like bringing the ball up progressively, it's like, uh, what do we do? Like we're, we can't even do anything because there's just no spacing. There's no like tactical awareness of how to like, who's supposed to get the ball or whatever. It's just ugly. It I, after the match, I put that PSG is embarrassing it was never going to work without a center forward. Like, never. Like, you got rid of it. We talked about this a long time ago. We They got rid of Icardi. And it was like, okay, but, like, who's a center forward, dude? Like, who's going to play center forward? You're going to tell Mbappe to play center forward? That's not his position. He already complained about that. <laughs> like, he already literally was like, I like playing for France. I get to play on the wing. I don't like to play center forward. It was like, well, we're not going to get anybody to play center forward, though. And there it is, out in the round of 16, two years in a row. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. I, I really wonder what PSG is going to do. Um, Neymar's out for God knows how long. Probably going to come back even slower after that. I think they might use that opportunity to find some kind of exit for him. Um, what was his injury? Was his, Oh, he's getting surgery on his ankle. That's that's that ankle he's messed up before. It's a bad ankle. Um, I, I Yeah. I mean, he already talked about, and I don't, I don't even know how long his international career is going to continue. Probably just wants to beat Pele's record and just call it. Can Kim Pim, Kim uh ruptured his Achilles? Ooh, that's bad. Yeah. Ooh. Let me see how old he is because I, I I might have to say he's he over. Twenty nine. I think he's twenty nine. His career might be over. Um. 27. He'll be fine. All right. He'll be okay. He'll he'll come back. Um, We'll see, dog. I don't know what they're going to do, but we'll see. I think, well, I'm still going to stand by uh, Mbappe going to Man U. I'm still going to stand by and that. That would be an incredible idea for him. That would that would blow Premier League the hell up. That'd be I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stand by that. Mm-hmm. Um, Messi, I think his contract is up. Yeah, because they're talking about extending him. He denied you know, one or whatever, allegedly. I don't know these rumors. The, 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 they're saying like, oh, he's going to go to Inter Miami, whatever. But I'm also looking at it like I could see him staying because, one, there's no pressure on him at PSG. And let's not forget, Messi wanted the bag from Barcelona. They couldn't afford it. So he went to PSG and got the bag. So I would imagine he wants to continue getting the bag, especially after his wife's grocery store getting shot up in rosario argentina he might need to get he looks like he like they owe some people so um you might want to re-up that bag and send them pesos over there to argentina big dog because uh pesos uh, probably being racist because uh they shooting up your wife's supermarket leaving notes saying messi the mayor can't save you okay (laughs) (laughs) they're big dog and you over there shooting up the grocery store you need to send the money, but okay. <laughs> not you threatening this man. Um, that's not funny. Yeah, I, I really wonder what he's gonna do. I, I'm not honestly, I don't know. Um, it doesn't even matter because, like, he gets a pass no matter what. He went to PSG of all places, and literally just like, oh yeah, whatever. Oh, he's he's going there to compete. I guess like okay. Yeah, and and with him, it's like I I think that Inter Miami probably will happen. I just think that he I could see if something happens, maybe like I don't know the recovery of Neymar and stuff. Like they could do one more hurrah or something, one more run. I could see him do like a one year extension. They're saying Neymar wants to say stay. He's he's Neymar still under contract, and they're saying he has he's a good contract. That's why he wants to stay. Yeah, exactly. Mbappe's contract extension was for two years. I honestly like. Are they gonna play this game again? Are, are we? Game? Are they gonna threaten him to? Are stay? they gonna threaten him? Are they not gonna like? Are they gonna like not resign him so they can actually get money for a transfer? Are they gonna go let him go for free to to England? Like, can you at least take some money out of England? Like, that's ridiculous, dog. They're just spending money. If they give Mbappe in a free transfer, I'm going to literally be so over. I'm going to only watch Portuguese league. I'm done with any kind of major league. No, I'm done. <laughs> we're not saying threaten because we're saying that because that's what Mbappe said, actually. Yeah, I'm just quoting the source. Yeah. The source um, of the player. <laughs> you know, 
Well, I went to go listen back to the clip about uh, Mbappe going to Man U that I mm-hmm. speculated on. That was in October last year. That was when uh, they were saying that Mbappe wants to leave in January. Oh, yeah, it's March. Um, <laughs> he's losing in quarterfinals again. Um, I feel like Mbappe, like once again, Real Madrid don't need Mbappe. They do not. I don't think that I'm getting Mbappe really while you have Vinicius Jr. I just don't love it. Like, I don't love them getting Mbappe with Benzema still there. Um, but I, I don't know how much longer Benzema's really going to stay, to be honest. I agree. No, yeah. He's, I think he's, Benzema's, I think it's the days are kind of winding down a little bit. Sure. And but I don't uh, want to see them like. Mbappe is so big headed, dude. Like he's gonna come there and want to be like taking the. I don't well, think he wants to be. Bu- I, can, I I can see them being able to make it work based upon how Benzema plays his game. He he he's kind of like a free flowing striker. No, no, they can play together for sure. But, but like you're talking about like just Mbappe in general. Like Mbappe is gonna want to like get the ball all the time. It's gonna be kind of crazy. And and you got Vinicius Junior who's playing crazy these past couple seasons. Let him shine, like let him do his thing. I don't think Mbappe come in there. Like, Definitely obviously, it makes one of the team... Real Madrid people have to leave, like Rodrigo or something. Someone will have to leave. Yeah, and obviously Mbappe makes your team better. But I was also thinking about it yesterday too. I'm like, Mbappe's played at PSG since 2017, and like, he has not played with any like kind of tactical uh, structure this whole time. Can he even do it? I think can he? he? I think he can. Okay. I mean, I just he? think that I think he, he, okay. I don't know where he wants to go. And some, I used to think that I really wanted him at Real Madrid. I don't know anymore. But I think that undeniably it'd be wild if he went to Man U. It would be crazy. Um, I think it's good. I honestly, I feel like that's the best place for him. Rashford play up the middle. He can play on the left wing. Jaden Sancho's garbage. Um, I don't even think about him like at all. Um, I think that that would be good for him because it's EPL. Yeah, you can run and do your thing, and you can get hella money. And he speaks perfect English. Yeah. Um, he speaks He's really good Spanish too for the brand too. Nike, Nike will like that, like the brand. Are they Nike? No, but is like, them, is them edibles hitting? No, he's not. He's not Nike. But Are those edibles hitting? He's not Nike, but. He's going to be a Nike athlete on the, in an English market. It's going to be, like, really big. Okay. You're so stupid, dog. Um, <laughs> Yes, they are. But go ahead. I, anyway, back to PSG. PSG, like, come on, dog. Like, like I remember this season, like, when they re-signed Mbappe, they are like, oh, we're going to make it more French, and we're going to, you know, go hard for France now. And, like, that's when they brought in Chris. This was for France or something. I'm they're, like, they're, what? They're, we're going we're gonna to make it more of a French team. He signed, like, 45 non-French players. Right. And then they, like, and then get Mukiele. He's just like, oh, yeah, but he's French. Um, you never play him. Yeah. Then they got they brought in uh, Christophe Gauthier for the, as the coach, and it's like, yeah, but you still got three players that don't make sense tactically, dude. Like, you still got three players that cannot make it work with midfielders. You're still relying on individual talent. The window is over. He had they had the opportunity to win it during COVID. That was their chance. They went to the final. Everybody was healthy. It was a one game series. They almost had it. Blame Kimbembe. It's his fault. Who did who did they lose to? Was it Bayern? Yeah, they lost to Bayern because maybe he had that damn red card because he put his arm behind his back. Remember when the ball kicked the hand? Remember he got the red card? Wait, wait, well, wait. Wasn't that against Man U? Oh, that was Man U, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. Whatever. They've had so many opportunities, dog. It's... I'm sorry. If you can't win, you can't win it, dude. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I, I remember... I'm a believer where I like three chances with the lineup, and if it ain't working with three or two chances, I'm switching the hell up. I remember that season against Man U, like the next match, like – Man, you was missing so many players. Like Pobo was suspended, and like there was like three players that were like out, and they still lost. <laughs> like so Rasher bad. wasn't even playing good back then. He was yeah. like do really bad. So bad. Um they were starting Lingard and shit. Like literally. 
it's just a shame because, you know, ever since Cavani left PSG and they kind of like dogged him out a little bit. Yeah, please roll your eyes harder. They went to the final without Cavani. Caesar, that final did not count. They went there though. Cavani did not go with them. Caesar, either. you don't even believe in that final. You don't believe in that. He was also part of that smackdown they ate against Barcelona. He scored. He scored. <laughs> yeah, he scored. Well, good job. It was like nine to one. And, and, and Caesar, you know what? Actually, I actually rewatched that. I okay. Yes, Cavani I never Cavani thought that that was actually a penalty against Di Maria, but when I looked back, I was like, that was a pretty obvious penalty, dude. <laughs> but honestly, Cavani probably would have missed it and they still would have lost. <laughs> yeah, he would have probably he already hit the crossbar or some shit. Literally. Um, you know, ever since Cavani left, I haven't really, I haven't, I don't really care about PSG like that. And I'm going to be honest with you. I tweeted that I think they're going to go through, but I really didn't want them to because I'm like, Mbappe just broke Cavani's record. I want you to fail. (laughs) (laughs) You're so selfish with your PSG fandom. It's all centered around what Cavani accomplished. That's all I I care about is Cavani. That's all I care about. (laughs) (laughs) It really is Cavani or bust for you. I don't care about any other PSG player except for Cavani. Like, that's it. I I like Julian Draxler, kind (laughs) of. Damn, did he play today? What did you say? Uh, kind of. Or yesterday. I, I kind of like Julian Draxler, but... He played for Ben, ben Fickers? Um, yeah, did, did he play the other day? I didn't watch the match. I wonder if he scored a goal for them yet. He's probably loving it in Portugal. He got his black girlfriend probably out there chilling. Mm-hmm. Did, did, did the homie Julian Draxler... Uh, Confederation Cup legend... Julian Draxler played. He really was putting on the Confederation Cup. <laughs> no, he didn't play. He didn't even. He wasn't even on the bench. I um, haven't seen him play in ages. I saw him play a little bit for Benfica in Champions League. Um, but yeah, PSG once again failing. I'm gonna be really excited to hear the uh, League on podcast on Monday. Um, because they were really excited, even though PSG was down one zero, they were excited because of how Mbappe in the first leg, how Mbappe came on and was killing it. They were like, like there's some PSG fans on the League on podcast, and they were kind of like, they're just never going to learn about Mbappe at center forward. They're never going to learn. You're it's really blind, you're just putting blinders on a racehorse. Like what are you what are you doing this for? Like literally, it's really a shame. And honestly, like. Messi is a midfielder and he's clogging up the midfield. He's walking around the whole time. Just let one person know to not let him go left. And Messi's literally an average player. <laughs> you get one guy who knows that, then he's average. <laughs> you know what I wonder? Mm. I wonder how many like shots on target they had and stuff like that. I'm making Caesar stay on because he's high. Um and because the one time I tried edibles, it was the worst day of my life. So I'm mad. I I I feel that because I had that experience too. Yeah, but you still do them. But I learned how to eat them properly. That's why. Yeah, I will never do it again. Yeah, um, I, I, I had a wild experience. Okay, they had four shots on target to Byron's five. There was only one yellow card in the whole match. Um yeah, well, it's over for you, buddies. You're out of here once again. We're going to get uh... – well, what do you think? Okay, last thing. What do you what, do you, what are you expecting for Real Madrid versus Liverpool next week? You think Liverpool can turn around? They just beat the dog shit out of Man U. Yeah, but that's Man U. Um, I also think Man U is not very tactically sound for real, too. I think that against like, teams that with a better buildup, I think – I think, and also I think, like, I know La Liga's been kind of weird, but I think Real Madrid is kind of like, they had a lot of confidence after Liverpool win. Um, I think they're going to get it done personally, but it's just, Liverpool wasn't, they, that, Man U's Spanko was crazy, but that's such a Premier League game, no? That was such a Premier League win, like, or just, like, all of a sudden one team's getting throttled or whatever, you know, and. Yeah, th- that's kind of a big deficit too. They got kind of rocked in that first. It one. was seven <laughs> zero. Like I think, I think, I think, uh, and also, but Liverpool ate like a ton of goals from Real Madrid too. It was like, there, isn't it like a four two gap or something? Or it was five two. 
They scored five on Instagram. Real Madrid are probably going to start that, that one weirdo kid we have. I forgot his name, that striker. The one tall Another one. Kid, and they're going to start Peter, too. Probably Peter going to play. Big Peter going to come um, out there. Probably going to put Rodrigo at center forward. <laughs> he could do it. Um, yeah, no, that game could have easily. Like, I just happened to watch that game, too. Man, you Liverpool. It was insane. It could have easily been 9-0, like, easily. Oh, uh, and I'm definitely over Rodrigo again. I'm done with him. Okay. Uh, well, I'm back done again. Why? I, I was done with him, and then I took it back because you guys were all giving me crap about it. He's a good player, dude. He's a good player, but I don't want him anymore. I want him to go. Yeah, fair. I'm well, kind of sick of it. I'm maybe done. you're saying that so he ends up doing something crazy for Real Madrid again. Yeah, yeah. Just because <laughs> whenever I say that, he's our balling out. <laughs> no, exactly. not for all. I am done. I, I'm, I'm done. Well, let me just remind I like, you. I feel like so many right wingers. It's so easy to get a right winger. Like it's, it's no, it's literally not, it dude. Is. It's just literally get some not. right dude, get some speed, just run out there. Go ahead. No, actually, I think Rodrigo Martinelli or something. Martinelli's good. He usually plays on the left. Martin Martinelli's really good. I think. I think Martinelli. You know what? I've only seen Martinelli play in the EPL. Rodrigo's doing it at Real Madrid. Honestly, like I think you're dogging him out for no reason. Um, but Caesar, before we go, let me just remind you that um, Barcelona is out of Europe. Let me just remind you in case you forgot. You're you know, the one that sends them nothing but compliments on Twitter. I'm like, they're not who? even in, they're not even in Europe. When did I get oh, Barcelona? Man. Barcelona's so good. They're so good right now. So good. You're always talk tweet about how good they are. I'm like, yeah, but they, they're they're literally they're literally out of the year. Go check your Twitter. You tweet so much you don't even know off of we made a podcast. Like Barcelona's doing so good. They only give up like one goal. That was so days. long ago. They're so good. Yeah, but they're they're at the crib chilling, drinking micheladas. They're not doing nothing no more. These are I literally tweeted. Them I'd before. be a really good team too if only had one thing going on. I had nothing going on. These are I tweeted that before they were out of this Champions team League. Is, in there's all kind of documents coming out soon. We made it's going to be doing a great episode as soon as everything gets confirmed about all the stuff that's going on with the investigation that's going on with the uh the money and the tampering and stuff and all the all. Did you see that? There's like reports coming out from Eurofoot saying that like some Barcelona stuff is brewing up from this investigation that's going on. So hopefully it'll be some good drama and some tea. And after the season's over, they're going to probably get some two-window transfer ban like Atletico did, and they're going to be playing with a bunch of uh, uh, their, their La Masia players. Um, Caesar, look. I own is over here about to run hands with PK and the bleachers because <laughs> PK won't let uh, uh, De Jong sit with his girl. I saw that video. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Absolute ratch monster in the B. I wish you saw the video. This is the worst. <laughs> I haven't talked about Barcelona literally the last thing. Yeah, I you sp- have, dog. You probably deleted it. <laughs> sir, you're like no. Elon Musk yeah, on Twitter. The last thing I tweeted about Barcelona, like by the so was... good. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm not even gonna argue with you. Is that what you said? What'd you say? No, dude, what'd you, crazy. What'd you say? I said that I just remember Barcelona's in Europa League. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to remind you of that though that they're trash. They're in Europe, and they're gonna I, win. I love the, that. They're gonna win the league probably, and be acting like they're so cool. But they, huh? They're doing all that, and they spent all that money. Exactly. They got all those players. They got forty five people. They didn't pay eighty by anybody. All the cafeteria and staff workers are slaves over there. No one gets paid any money. No one gets any money. They're all volunteers, involuntary volunteers, <laughs> and so, um, yeah. They're out of here. Um, but anyway, we made a podcast episode 295. Five more to go before and we are gonna switch to a boss of channel. Exactly. And we're I'm gonna excited. go on the blogs and we're gonna go and just see the we're trending read topics. All of Elon Musk replies, we're gonna talk the blogs, we're gonna review videos of 600 Scooby talking about Quavo's a snitch if he talks about who shot takeoff. All 600 that breezy, yes, yes, 600 exactly. breezy. Yeah, we're doing all that stuff. Exactly. Rap House TV podcast holler